Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video I'm going to talk about the WWDC event uh, that happened just yesterday, WWDC 2017 and generally these events are focused towards software but yesterday something different happened. Apart from the software, we got iOS 11 and the new Mac OS that is known as Hisera. Apple also updated almost all of their Mac lineup with new uh, processors and also introduced some new hardware which was very surprising. And the event Event was actually very long it went almost one hour 40 minutes and I'll try to summarize whatever uh, was there the important highlighting parts in this uh, video I made a list it's a very long list so let's quickly get to it and the first uh, thing uh, that was uh, introduced was the new Mac OS uh, earlier we had the Mac OS Sierra and now the new version is just known as uh, Mac OS High Sierra, just a very funny name. And it does not bring a lot of new things to the Mac OS. It's sort of a refinement. Many of the core apps have got refinement. For example, they were talking a lot about Safari web browser that comes on the Mac. And now with this High Sierra, uh, the Safari browser will automatically uh, block videos. Uh, if you browse a lot, you see these days, many of the websites, uh, when you just go to them, you don't even click that play button, the video starts playing and you have to block it. This a lot of block in the new safari and it also has intelligent uh, they say tracking protection for privacy so that was a new thing and also the mail app uh, if you use the mac os got an update and even the photos app got a new update apart from that the new things with this uh, mac high sierra will be that uh, apple is now moving to a new file system this is a 64-bit file system that will be getting and they name it as, as apple file system known as the apfs so that's a good thing and um, according to apple everything should be faster the copying stuff and etc should be way faster with high syrup also moving to video apple is now moving to h.265 the regular videos that you see uh, use the compression that is known as the h.264 but now apple will making the, uh, will be making this h.265 native and this will help in compression and stuff for example uh, for 4k videos they take a lot of storage with this uh, hdvc compression it should take almost 2x less storage and again other applications of apple like final cut etc will take advantage of for this and uh, they have also introduced metal 2 which is a successor to the metal and they say that this is for graphics and this is almost 10 times faster than metal 1 Another big deal about uh, uh, Mac uh, 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 Hisera is that now it will support VR on the Mac, which I feel is a big deal. And now moving to uh, hardware, uh, the new hardware that was launched. And the biggest thing is that now the new uh, iMac uh, got a spec update. Uh, still the size is the same. It's having a, what do you say, 21.5 and 27 inch screen, as you can see from the screenshot. In terms of looks, it did not change, but under the hood, it is coming with the, the seventh generation Intel processor known as uh, KB Lake. And uh, we have a new model uh, also with a spec bump for the 21.5 inch. Also now all the Macs will come with Fusion uh, Drive. Now moving to the Mac uh, Book uh, Pros and the MacBook. Again, all of these also got an update to the KB Lake uh, processor. Again, that's the seventh generation of the processor. In terms of looks, again, the MacBook Pros didn't get any uh, change. For example, I am using, this is a 13 inch MacBook Pro. The touch bar, uh, etc., stays the same, uh, but the processor got an update. The MacBook Pro 15 inch actually now gets slightly booster uh, graphics chip. So that's an improvement. But again, one thing was disappointing and many creative professionals and I was also waiting that the MacBook Pro 15 inch variant might come with 32 gigabytes of uh, ram option but that's not the case still the max uh, ram option uh, there's only one ram option on the 15 inch variant that is 16 gigabytes but again all these max the 13 inch uh, the 15 inch and even the mac uh, uh, book uh, that is the 12 inch are all now on the kb lake uh, processor and uh, so that's an interesting thing and regarding the price drop the regular uh, 13 inch macbook pro not uh, the what do you say the touch bar one has got a hundred dollar price drop and will be uh, starting at 1299 so if you are not bothered about the touch bar the price of the macbook pro 13 inch has come down a little bit now moving to the next interesting thing is uh, this is a new product that apple announced and this was surprising uh, it's the new iMac uh, 
Pro. Uh, they haven't launched it as of now. It's going to come out in December some time frame. And this is going to use the new Intel Core i9. In fact, uh, just last week, I made a video about it in the Weekly Tech Report that Intel has launched the Core i9 uh, processor. And this new iMac Pro will be using that. So these are Xeon processors that we'll be seeing on this one. So that's an interesting thing. And this will come with the Radeon Vega graphics. Again, great for persons for doing video editing and stuff. And it'll come with, you can uh, maximize it. Again, iMacs are all in one. So uh, you can configure it up to 128 gigabytes of uh, ECC memory. And you can also uh, add up to four terabytes of storage. And this is the first Mac that will come with the 10 gigabit ethernet port so that is also an interesting thing but again this is a very pro machine it'll only come in the 27 inch variant uh, and it's a pricey machine and it will start uh, from four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars uh, will start shipping from december 2017 onwards so this is a new thing and again this uh, imac pro is uh, designed for uh, creative professionals now moving to ios ios 11 was also announced with the successor to the iOS 10. And in terms of new functionality, uh, now with Apple Pay, you can pay person-to-person uh, -person payment. For example, let's say you want to pay your friend some money, you can easily do that with the Apple Pay on the new iOS uh, 11. And then the Siri will also get a new interface. It will be a little bit more intelligent. And uh, we'll also get translations in uh, Siri. For example, you can say, uh, what do you say this phrase in another language and Siri will do that for you. So that was a new thing and again, uh, regarding the video compression uh, ios 11 will also support the hevc codec so the videos that you shoot etc images even will be almost 2x uh, uh, compressed so saving on uh, space also the control center gets a new revamp on ios 11 and also we have airplay to support and the biggest deal i would say for ios 11 uh, would be augmented reality functionality with ios 11 so finally now apple has embraced uh, augmented reality and they showed some demo and they were actually pretty good also we get other options like do not disturb while driving you don't have to enable it uh, the phone iphones will automatically recognize if you are driving and enable the do not uh, uh, disturb mode you can yes obviously disable it if you want so this is a nice uh, thing that you are getting with ios 11 now moving to another new uh, product this is not a new product this is the ipad pro but they have launched a new version of the the ipad pro uh, version that is having a 10.5 inch uh, screen apart from the uh, earlier we had the 12.9 and the 9.7 uh, so we have a new variant uh, having a 10.5 inch screen and also the 12.9 uh, inch variant that was the original ipad pro also got an update and now this will have a, a higher quality and a brighter screen uh, apple says it can go up to 600 nits that's actually very bright and uh, it will also support hdr uh, video and according to apple uh, it will have these new ipad pros will have 120 hertz uh, refresh rate the general tablets that we find in the market have 60 hertz refresh rate so for if you scroll down the web pages and so it will be butter smooth according to apple and these new ipad pros will come with the a 10x fusion chip uh, these are six core processors and it will have a 12 core gpu and according to apple in terms of gpu performance these new ipad pros are almost 40 percent better in performance and um, we also see a bump in camera performance i think so apple is doing this because now they have augment reality and for augment reality we need good camera so even the ipad pros uh, will have a new 12 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization so that's a good thing uh, with the f 1.8 the lens that's the same thing that we saw with the iphone 7 so the camera is getting a huge bump on the ipad pro and it also have the 7 megapixel front facing camera and uh, the new ipad uh, pros will also support usb 3 transfer speeds and apple has bumped the base storage to 64 gigabytes on the ipad pros and the ipad pros will start uh, with a pricing of 649 dollars for the 10.5 inch variant and also the uh, uh, apart from that uh, i also like the fact that uh, they not only just introduced new ipads but apple with the new ios 11 is now uh, actually making the ipad pros a lot more usable uh, the ipod ipad pros will get proper multitasking and the dock the dock we never saw with the ipad pros the dock that we see on the mac you will get that option on the ipad pros and you can use it easily to drag and drop stuff 
and also for doing multitasking split uh, view also got an update so huge upgrades to ipad pros functionality with the ios 11 and also it gets a uh, file manager finally uh, we are having a file manager on the ipad uh, uh, and it will also support third party applications like dropbox or google drive so that's a really nice thing so now the ipad pro with all this multitasking proper file manager and stuff uh, can be used like a sort of a, a computer Apple also introduced speakers. This is a new category of devices that Apple has launched and they are calling this the HomePod uh, speakers. And uh, as you can see from the image, uh, uh, the height of the speaker is about seven inches according to them. And it packs in a lot of uh, technologies uh, that, uh, for example, they say that the, this one has actually seven tweeters at the bottom and a four inch subwoofer. And it actually analyzes your house uh, or where you have put it. And and hence optimizes the sound they were talking a lot about it and uh, this is sort of a smart uh, speaker it has the apple a8 uh, chip and you can actually uh, talk to it it has spatial uh, awareness hence it will tune the sound and apple says that these are uh, will be actually very good sounding only after testing i can say how good it is and you can also pair multiple uh, home pods uh, if you want but again uh, it also has microphones actually it has six different microphones and it has cd built in so you can talk to it something like uh, the amazon alexa or the google home product uh, but according to apple they have really uh, put in a lot of effort in terms of the sound quality that you'll get with this one and it will also act like a home assistant uh, this is also not going to come out immediately this is going to launch in sometime in december in 2017 and again it's an apple product so the price is high it will be priced at around uh, it will be priced at uh, 349 us dollars so again in india generally the apple accessories are very expensive if it launches in india i don't know if it will but if it launches in india i won't be surprised it will be priced around 30000 rupees so these were some of the important products and announcements that apple made in uh, this uh, wwc uh, dc 2017 event i'm actually pretty excited yes the new imac uh, pros uh, yeah, the very high-end machines, but I thought Apple would also show the Mac Pro that they're working, that they'll be released in 2018. I'm slightly disappointed that the MacBook Pro's 15-inch variant uh, still cap uh, the maximum RAM at 16 gigabytes. Many professionals were thinking that Apple will release a model with 32 gigabytes uh, of RAM, but that didn't happen. So guys, uh, these were the quick updates uh, regarding the Apple WWDC 2017. What do you think about this? And are you interested in some of the new products? For example, the new iPad Pro 10.5-inch uh, or even the Home uh, Pod speakers that Apple launched. Do let me know in the YouTube comment section below. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.